Once upon a time, in the enchanting land of Eldoria, there lived a curious and kind-hearted wizard named Merlin. Known far and wide as the Wandering Wizard, Merlin possessed magical powers that surpassed any other sorcerer in the realm. His long silver beard and pointy hat made him easily recognizable wherever he went. One sunny morning, as Merlin strolled through the bustling market square of Eldoria, he overheard a rumor that piqued his interest. The townsfolk whispered of a lost spell, a spell so powerful that it could heal any ailment and bring prosperity to the entire kingdom. The legend spoke of a hidden parchment, guarded by mythical creatures, which held the secret to this incredible incantation. Determined to find the lost spell and bring its magic to the people of Eldoria, Merlin embarked on a grand adventure. He gathered his trusty companion, a mischievous talking owl named Oliver, and set off on a journey through dense forests, treacherous mountains, and vast deserts. Their first challenge awaited them in the enchanted forest, where they encountered a tribe of mischievous fairies. The fairies, known for their tricks, refused to reveal the location of the lost spell unless Merlin could solve their riddles. With his sharp wit and clever mind, Merlin successfully answered each riddle, earning the fairies' trust. In return, they guided him to the next leg of his quest. Next, Merlin and Oliver arrived at the foot of the Whispering Mountains. Legend had it that a wise old dragon dwelt there, holding the key to the lost spell's whereabouts. Fearlessly, Merlin approached the dragon, offering his help in return for the secret. The dragon, intrigued by Merlin's bravery, agreed to share the information, but only if Merlin could retrieve a rare flower that grew in the heart of the Forbidden Garden. Undeterred by the challenge, Merlin and Oliver ventured into the Forbidden Garden. With their combined magic and quick thinking, they navigated past thorny vines, towering trees, and trickling streams. Finally, they reached the hidden flower, plucking it delicately. As they returned to the dragon, the creature shared the ancient tale of a hidden cave at the edge of the frozen tundra, where the lost spell was said to reside. The frozen tundra proved to be a harsh and icy land, testing Merlin's resilience and determination. Overcoming bitter winds and icy storms, he and Oliver finally reached the entrance of the hidden cave. Inside, they discovered a labyrinth of winding tunnels guarded by colossal ice golems. With great skill, Merlin used his magic to outsmart the golems, leading him deeper into the cave's heart. In a magnificent chamber, Illuminated by glowing crystals, Merlin found what he had been searching for the long-lost parchment containing the spell. Excitement and joy filled his heart as he carefully studied the ancient script. With every word he deciphered, the power of the lost spell became clearer. Filled with a sense of purpose, Merlin and Oliver hurried back to Aldoria, eager to share the spell's magic with the kingdom. Word spread like wildfire as the townsfolk gathered in the central square, awaiting Merlin's arrival. With a wave of his wand and the recitation of the spell, Merlin cast a radiant light that bathed the entire square, bringing healing and joy to all. From that day forward, Eldoria prospered, and the legend of the wandering wizard and the lost spell became etched in the hearts of its people. Merlin continued to wander, using his powers to help those in need and inspire young wizards and witches to embark on their own extraordinary adventures. And so, the tale of the wandering wizard and the lost spell was passed down.